Hi everyone, this is my morning after the night before makeover. Now, I was out last night so I thought this was a great day to do this video. I have very dehydrated skin, it's blotchy, some spots coming up, my lips are incredibly dry and I managed to bite into one of them last night and seem to have a kind of bit of skin hanging off there so I'm sure you've all been there. It's one of those days when you wish you could just stay in bed all day but I'm going to show you how to look fantastic. Now the first thing you need to do is hopefully you took all your makeup off last night before you went to bed. If you didn't you really need to do it now so properly cleanse twice, get all of the old makeup off. If you leave it on anything you put on is just going to look awful. Then, if you did take your makeup off last night, use a face wash. I used this Ola Henriksen one this morning. I used it because it's quite moisturising and also it's antioxidant packed, which is fantastic if your skin is feeling really as if it's been stripped. I also put some of these in the fridge last night. Anything cold is going to get rid of puffiness. Now, if you've got one of those gel masks during the season when you're going out a lot, make sure you keep it in the fridge because if you can just even have a minute of something cold over the eyes it really does reduce puffiness another really good thing to use is eye gel and this is ysx reduce puffiness keep this in the fridge as well and just pat it on because anything that has a patting action is going to help to reduce the puffiness so using your ring finger just really pat that on and work going outwards, just gently patting. And what it does is it just gets rid of all the buildup of lymph, just gets your lymphatic drainage going. And just sort of push it out. And that's nice and cold. That's going to feel really, really good. And it does. Now, for your lips. Mine are quite raggedy today. I'm going to use some Lisa Hoffman Spa Facial Lip Moisturiser. You can use Vaseline, you can use anything, but I quite like this one, I've really got into it. I'm just gonna put a small amount on with a Q-tip and I'm just gonna use that to get that bit of skin off very gently. It's just quite a gentle way of doing it. And you can use anything, you can use Vaseline, you can use your normal lip balm for this. That's going to really moisturise them, but also it's just going to take off those loose bits of skin that feel horrible. Okay, that feels better. Let's be quite gentle, but quite firm, and just really twist the cotton bud as it's going over the lips. Okay, and that's taken off that loose patch of skin. Okay, next I'm going to use, I'm just going to give my skin a little spray. And this is, um, again, quite a cold mist. It's just going to help to rehydrate my skin. Now, because my skin is naturally quite oily, although it's feeling incredibly dehydrated, I'm not going to put very heavy face cream on because I'll just end up looking dehydrated and greasy which I don't want to happen. Instead I'm going to use this Oscar product and this is just arrived today at the House of Eldridge and it's called Get Up and Glow and I have to say I absolutely love this. It's an instant radiance and energy and protection booster and it has a fantastic small pearl in it and what you really want to be aiming to do, oh that feels so nice, it feels really moisturising but quite refreshing and really hydrating and because it's got this pearl it's a mixture of pink and gold pearl it's just giving my skin back all of that luminosity that it's lost that feels amazing that's quite a new British brand I don't really know very much about them I know that it's a combination of science and nature and that they have some other good products which I haven't tried yet Okay, so once you've done that, we're going to go on to the makeup. And the first thing I want to say about the makeup is less is more. If you've had a night out, the last thing you should do is pile on the makeup the next day. You want to use less than you normally use. 
if you've only got a small amount of time, it's better to spend time doing what I've just done, which is getting your skin rehydrated, making sure that your lips are not raggedy, using your gels and just getting your skin to feel nice. Not only do it look better, but also you're, you're gonna feel a lot brighter and a lot better. Now for the makeup, I'm going to use just a few products and I'm gonna keep it very untechnical. I'm gonna use the Bourjois 10 Hour Sleep Effect Foundation. Again, because it's got light reflection, and already you can see my skin's looking so much better with that serum, but this will help that to boost that even more. I'm gonna use a little bit of concealer just on my spots. This is Laura Mercier. And I'm gonna use some Eye Bright. This is in a kit from Benefit, but it's the lavender one, and this is really good for sallow skin for under your eyes the morning after. I'm also gonna use some cream blusher. This is an e.l.f. one. I'm going to use some cream eyeshadow, which I've got a MAC and a number 7 one. Black mascara, which is, I'm using Rimmel, you can use anything. I'm going to use some Benefit lip gloss too. Okay, so starting at the beginning, foundation. If you can get away without wearing any foundation, if your skin's in quite good nick, just skip this whole step. You can go straight on just to using concealer for under the eyes and, and concealing any spots. I just need a little bit of evening out, so I'm just going to use the 10 hour of sleep effect just in the areas where I need a little bit of evening out. But I want it on as thin as I possibly can. There's something about when you've been out and the next day your skin's really parched and dry and you feel groggy. Putting more foundation on than usual actually makes your skin look a hell of a lot worse. It just doesn't sit right. So just use the minimum you can get away with. I'm using fingers, so I'm making sure I'm not piling it on. This is all you need. So I'm just gonna use it down the center of my face. Okay.